Wilson Auto Detailing Community. This is Luke Wilson and I am live on location right now at one of my customers houses, one of my maintenance detail houses, and I am doing the one hand thing because I've got the camera in one hand, so I'm pulling out the hose right now, but I have a lot of people ask me, um, because I have a lot of earlier videos on the YouTube channel about Purple Power degreaser. So I have a lot of people ask me when I use Purple Power degreaser still because most of the time these days I'm talking about super clean. So I wanted to take you guys live with me right now. The Wood Stove Gun Channel, Vincent, Ricardo, what's up, what's up, what's up? So <clears throat> I'm on location live right now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys when I use Purple Power, because I don't use Purple Power on really the interior at all, and I rarely use it on anything uh, major. Brock, what's up? Uh, but the one thing that I do use Purple Power on all the time are tires, engines, wheel wells. So I'm doing the tires right now, and I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and show you guys uh, how I use Purple Power on the tires and why. So let me flip the camera around. Alrighty. So this is just one of my maintenance vehicles, but I'm gonna go ahead and stand you guys up. So hold on one second. All right. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. All right, you guys can kind of see, right? You guys can kind of see that tire. Let's see if I can make it better. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Brock, thank you so much. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you guys how I attack this. <clears throat> Obviously this tire has got some serious grunge on it, but once again, I see this car about once every like four weeks. So here is how I attack tires with purple power. I just wet the tire, let's see here. Okay. I'm gonna wet the tire just like that. And then I'm obviously going to spray the Purple Power all over the tire. Now, why do I use Purple Power on tires? Because Purple Power is a super strong degreaser. And it's very, very industrial. And so tires collect that horrible, horrible grease and grime. And so I want to use as strong of a degreaser as I can. And I have to use so much degreaser on tires that I want a, I want a degreaser that's going to be very cheap that I can go through a lot of. And Purple Power, I think, <coughs> is like $5 a gallon. Then I'm gonna take my scrub brush, uh, which I got from Home Depot, and I'm trying it out. It's an HDX scrub brush, and I really like it so far. And I'm just gonna scrub like this. And I'm gonna be very aggressive, right? Because this stuff is really on there. All right, and then you're just left with this nasty stuff, and so I'm just gonna hose this off. Okay, now, I'm just gonna hose off my scrub brush. Okay, and now I'm gonna go at it again, and you can see that the second time that I spray the Purple Power on the tire, it doesn't come off as like brown, it doesn't come off as all this grungy nastiness because I got the bulk of it off with that first pass. So as I scrub this second time around, you can see that the color is lighter. The color is not quite as nasty brown. So as I continue, So now this color <coughs> pretty much is telling me that the tire is clean. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hose this off. Hose off my scrub brush again. And now, as the tire dries, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. You'll be able to see the black appearance and stuff. But let me go ahead and switch the camera around. So, 
uh, I'm your friend asks, will the degreaser damage the wheel? No, that's another thing I wanted to point out. People get real freaked out about using purple power full strength like I do <laughs> on tires because they're afraid that it's going to damage the wheel or uh, leave some sort of streaking on the metal or on the chrome. Um, but once again, <clears throat> number one, it, the little bit of overspray that does get on the wheel, it's so minimal that it's not a big deal. And number two, uh, this is a factory coated uh, wheel, so it's got a clear coat on it, so it's got a protective barrier, so just like if some of the Purple Power oversprayed onto the paint, you just wash it off you know, immediately or real quickly, and you don't have anything to worry about. Now, would I let it sit uh, on the wheel for a long period of time? Well, of course not. That's not a good idea, but once again, let common sense lead, and it's no big deal whatsoever. <coughs> Vincent, yes. That is absolutely true. I'm really sweaty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the next wheel. I'll probably take you guys for the four wheels. But I wanna show you guys the process because on a, um, let's see how I wanna do this. On a maintenance vehicle like this, uh, cleaning the wheels, I'm sorry, cleaning the uh, tires becomes a much less time consuming process because I clean them every month. And so yes, do the wheels collect a ton of grease and grime? Yes, but because I see it every month, I'm always putting dressing on it. I'm always putting a sacrificial barrier of dressing on the tire. So really all I'm cleaning off here is that sacrificial barrier, that, um, that, that, that kind of just the low, uh, how would I put it, that minor grease and grime that collects on the outside of the uh, dressing that I previously put on. So once again, I'm just gonna scrub it really aggressively. I'm gonna hose it off again. Hose off my scrub brush. And then once again, like the previous tire, this should be the last time I actually have to apply this. So as you scrub, <coughs> you see how light the Purple Power is, how it's not dark and dirty like it was the first time. But you guys can see that this tire is a lot more dirty even the second time around than the first one was. So I'm going to go ahead and hose this off and hit it a third time. And this should be the last time that I have to do this. Just like that. And I hose off my scrub brush once again. And bam. So, Lomas says, have you ever used Stoner's Tarminator for the tires? Uh, I have not. Sorry, I was trying to read the last part of your message. No, I tend to stay away from, not Stoner products, but um, things like their Tarminator and those kind of more retail grade products that they sell tend to number one, be weaker. And number two, when you have products like Rapid Remover or you have products like Citral to deal with some of that stuff, it's just kind of, it's just kind of a non-issue. You know, it's kind of a waste of time to use the Tarminator for tires when it's expensive per can. You only have a small amount in that aerosol can. 
So I just stick to the purple power. Anyways, guys, I'll go ahead and take you to this last wheel. I mean, I'm sorry, to the first wheel and show you a little bit of how it's drying. So you guys can see this little tiny spot right here where it is kind of drying, that it's totally black. There's no brown grunge. There's no dirt left over. I need to change gloves. But anyways, that's how I clean tires. And that is when I use Purple Power. I don't use it for everything. I use it for really hammered parts, engines, tires, wheel wells, things like that. So anyways, guys, just wanted to go live on location for a little bit. If you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this that are not necessarily live videos, but videos nonetheless on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in your businesses. And on this channel, I share the strategies that took my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing. Um, and no, I do not dilute my purple power. Mark, thank you, Vincent. <sighs> that is a loaded question that I do not have time to answer right this second. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.